say, I suppose, it's a, it's a moment everyone waits for a long time in their career. Yeah, it's amazing. Uh, when I found out uh, I was coming here on standby, uh, heart sank a little bit and uh, a few butterflies. And uh, yeah, then to receive the news, obviously unfortunate for, uh, for Shane. Um, such a valuable member of the side, but um, look, I'm, I'm very, very happy that I get the opportunity to, to play for the best country in the world. And you're, like you're 30 years of age, you've waited, you're telling me. You're 30 years young, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now nah, look, I, I, I've worked pretty hard, um, and, and I, I, I guess, you know, opportunity, it was a small opportunity that it was going to get my, for my window to, to get in, I think. Um, and th this is a little window, and, you know, fingers crossed I can, I can contribute somehow, um, you know, to a win. And uh, in, in anything from, from this game onwards, who knows? Normally opening for Victoria, Rob, uh, how do you like the thought of batting at three for Australia? Uh, the thought of batting for Australia full stop, uh, I'm very happy with, for starters, but uh, I've sort of been lucky enough in a way with, with Victoria that I, I have been moved around and shuffled around the order a fair bit, so I'm quite used to it there, and uh, yeah, look, I'm, as I said, I'm just happy to, to, to fill a role and, and hopefully contribute somehow. You must be pleased to have at least faced these bowlers now on the weekend, got a feel for what they do, even if the pitch here is likely to be a whole lot different. Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, it's sort of half the challenge. You faced them for a while and, and uh, got through a couple of spells, which was good, and, uh, and, a, and a one or two challenging ones, which were, you know, as well, which is, which is great for the mind. But um, yeah, so you're going to be prepping pretty hard this week. And uh, look, I'm sure the South Africans are going to step it up a, another notch as well um, and, and going to bring it to us. So, you know, hopefully we're, we're going to be ready for it. You got, a, you got a century in oh, a, a quick one day wicket up here a few, few weeks ago. Will that be a good help for you come Friday? Uh, look, I hope so. I, I, I really like batting at the Gabo. I reckon it's a great batting wicket, um, especially the one days. It's, it's one of the best one day wickets in the world, I reckon. Um, it's, you know, it's probably going to be a little bit different come a, a test wicket, but um, look, I, I think the test wicket's got something in for the bowler and the batter. So, uh, yeah, look, I'm looking forward to it, and, I, and I hopefully a lot of fans are too. Uh, Chris from Hi oh, Chris, how are you doing? How are you, mate? Congratulations, first and foremost. Thank mate. you very much. Um, at 30, had you given up a dream of a baggy green or were you starting to get to the point where you thought maybe it's not going to come my way? No, I guess my last two years have been my most consistent. And I knew, as I said before, that there might have been a little window of a 12 months or an 18 months where I could try and get my foot in. Uh, and I've needed to, to, continue, to continue to make runs and um, yeah, I'd never given up. If anything, it's probably grown stronger because beforehand I probably may not have believed that I, I could make it to this level and um, yeah, now, look, yeah, it's, it's unbelievable news. Uh, I'm stoked and, and, and hopefully I can contribute some way. Is it reward for persistence? Is it reward for, for all that cricket you've played for all your life? Yeah, it can be, I guess, yeah. Um, look. Everyone works hard at their game. Every batter, every bowler, every fielder, they work so hard at their game. And, and you know, I'm sure 95% of the domestic cricketers out there want to play for Australia. So um, everyone's working hard. And, and I think just opportunity and timing is such a big factor when it comes to that. How do you approach Friday? Uh, look, it's easy to say the same as I do a, a, a shield match, but it's you know, in honesty, it's it's completely different. I mean, the build-up to a shield match isn't like this, is it? So, um, <laughs> look, I've just got to. My, my theory is I've got to prepare as, as well as I can, similar to what, as I do at a shield game, um, combined with what you know the Australian team do um, with their lead-up, but also try and soak it up and enjoy it, because. Cricket comes and goes so quickly, and, and that's something I want to I want to be involved with cricket for you know as a player for as long as I can, and yeah, look, at, you know I'm trying to enjoy it as much as I can because if you get too hyped up, too worked up, before you know it, it's gone, and you're back on the tools, and uh, and that's it. You're thinking about what if. So, did Stan before you mentioned you faced Stan the other day? How quick was he? I heard Orlando said it was quick as he's seen in years. Is that as quick as you faced? Um, yeah, I, I think he ramped it up a little bit more to Hughesy than to me, um, but. Yeah, it was. From the other end, he, he was bashing the wicket pretty hard, and um, that was, I guess, you know, his his final hit out in the middle, and he wanted to make sure that he was right. And um, everyone knows how, how good a bowler he is and how fast he can be. So, uh, look, as I said, it's good to have a bit of a taste, and, I, and uh, I've seen him as he go up up the gears. Um, so I'm hoping that I can uh, still combat him somehow when he goes up to his fourth gear.